So how you doing everybody? On this week's video I want to talk about a few tips and tricks that I use myself. Whoa squirrel! <laughs> to help me gain confidence on my bike. So stick around. Roll the intro. Alright, so the first thing that I figured out that makes me feel safer and helped me to gain quite a bit of confidence when I started riding was wearing my gear all the time. Now, I don't know about you guys out there, but I feel a hell of a lot safer when I have my full gear on. Helmet, jacket, gloves, pants, armored breeches and boots, everything on. I feel a heck of a lot safer when I'm out here riding versus when I'm not wearing anything. I know, granted, you can never be completely safe on a motorcycle, but when I'm wearing my gear, and I'm sure you're probably the same way, you feel like, you know, if you do end up going down in a crash, it's not going to hurt as much, which it probably shouldn't, you know, if you're wearing all your gear. So by wearing full gear all the time, I don't feel as apprehensive about going around that corner. I don't feel as nervous about getting on the roads with traffic around me or even getting on the highway or anything else like that. To me, it feels like you're just wearing this protective shell around you and it, and it really does kind of inspire confidence a little bit more when you're out there learning how to ride. I mean, it's a kind of the same reason why you, when you get in a car and you go drive somewhere and you put your seatbelt on, does that make you feel safer? Well, of course it does because it serves a purpose. Just like motorcycle gear serves a purpose. Nobody wants to get into a car accident without their seatbelt on unless you're one of those weird people that thinks that seatbelts might actually end up doing more harm than good. I'm not one of those people. I wear my seatbelt all the time. You get what I'm saying, right? Gear serves a purpose and it makes you feel safer just like seatbelts do. Man, look at these trees around here. The colors on these things are just awesome. All the bushes, I got red in them and, and greens and even someplace blues and purples. I love this time of year, I just hate the temperature. Another thing you can do to help gain confidence, stay away from places that make you nervous. I know a lot of guys out there when they start riding, and gals, they're afraid to ride on the highway. Well then I suggest you just stay away from the highway for a while. It'll come to you, don't worry. That nervousness about eh, riding in and around other traffic at high speeds, it'll go away eventually, trust me it will. Oddly though, when I first started riding, riding in traffic just, it never bothered me whatsoever. You know, I guess because I've been driving for so long, I kind of learned how to predict what other cars are going to do around me and uh, stay away from them. But anyways, if, if uh, like getting out into rush hour, or riding during certain times of days and things like that make you nervous, getting on the highway makes you nervous, just stay away from it for a while because the more you ride, the more you'll get to know your motorcycle and uh, Things like that just won't spook you as much. So just give it time. Don't rush into those kind of things. Okay, another thing you can do that I did myself, and this one might even seem kind of silly to most people out there. I would go out in the garage when I wasn't riding, and I would sit on my bike, and I would mess around with the controls on it. I would sit there and close my eyes and try to remember each and every single control on my motorcycle until I could do it basically in my sleep without even thinking about it so you can sit out there in the garage and just kind of grab hold of the clutch you know squeeze it in and out kind of see what it feels like take hold of the throttle and just you know turn it back twist it back a little bit let go of it see what it feels like feel the resistance of the spring or spring tension on the throttle grab a hold of the brake you know get to know the brakes a little bit you can sit there on your bike and kind of push it back and forth with your feet and and kind of fondle <laughs> for lack of better words just kind of mess around with the front brake lever just give it a squeeze and see how much pressure is required to actually get the bike to start you know slowing down so that the brakes start grabbing uh, do the same thing with your with your back brake with your foot just sit there and roll it back and forth on one leg or even just push it forward just a little bit out in your driveway and just kind of let it coast and then you know put your foot on the back brake and see how much pressure is required to make the bike stop uh, with your with your shifter foot on your left side 
it's a little bit more difficult to do with the bike not running so you know you could sit on the bike in, the, in your driveway and just kind of shift it down into first gear and and start the engine and, and uh, let it run just without even giving it any throttle just get to know how much uh, how much travel there is in the clutch so you can kind of start getting to know that friction zone and just doing things like that will will really help you memorize your controls and build a lot of con a lot of confidence as far as like you know knowing that you can do what you need to do without thinking about it especially when it comes to avoiding accidents and and avoiding close calls and things like that if you can manage to work your controls basically without thinking about it that's going to help you gain confidence a whole hell of a lot Spend a lot of time in parking lots and back roads like such as this, cruising around in your neighborhood. Uh, spending a lot of time doing low speed maneuvers in a parking lot, it helps more than you would probably ever even imagine. That also helps you to get to know your bike extremely well, know what its limits are at low speeds. And yes, those do absolutely transfer over to being able to, uh, yeah. All those low speed maneuvers absolutely do help as far is like getting out on the street and getting to know your bike and being able to uh, to control it without even having to think about it. When you're out riding around and let's say you have a favorite road that you like to go ride on and I have a few of them myself. When you're coming up on corners like we're coming up on one here right now this one will say speed limit around this corner is 10 miles per hour. So what you do when you first start riding your favorite road is you take that corner at 10 miles per hour and then the next time you take that road and you take that curve you take it at maybe 15 miles an hour. What that will do is when you get to know your favorite roads and you get to know the speed limits and, and how much speed you can take into corners, that will build a lot of confidence as far as cornering is, is concerned because you'll get to know the limits of your bike. So in order to gain confidence going around corners on your motorcycle, pick a road, make it your favorite road, and just get to know that road. So you'll know each and every corner of that road and that will actually as you're getting to know that road, you'll actually get to know your bike better too. And that will make you more confident as far as going into corners. And just basically, you know, the feel of your bike, the feel of the tires on your bike. Because I've said before, every single bike has a different feel to it. It's a different experience. So you need to spend some time with your bike and just kind of really intimately getting to know it. And speaking of getting to know your bike, this will help you gain a ton of confidence. If you do the work on your own bike, instead of sending it to a mechanic that will help you really get to know your bike because you start to understand how the mechanical aspect of the whole bike works which will translate into understanding why the controls do what they do and why the controls work let's say you take a which is a pretty common modification to that a lot of people do with their motorcycles when they first get them is they change out these uh these levers they brake and your clutch lever and it's very popular because a lot of motorcycles don't come with adjustable levers on them you have to go out and buy these things and you can get these on like pretty much for any motorcycle on ebay for like 20 bucks and what that does is if you take something like this a small modification like this and you do this work yourself this will also this will help you understand you know how the clutch works it'll help you understand how the front brake lever works basically what i'm getting at is the more you know the, your bike the more you'll be comfortable with being on it because if you know how something works then you just understand it better now, there's a pretty common phrase amongst the motorcycling community. It is, ride your own ride. And that basically means exactly what it says. Don't be afraid to, uh, you know, don't feel ashamed to go out there and ride a, ride a motorcycle by yourself, you know, without anybody else around, without anybody else that's, you know, putting thoughts and ideas into your head or basically pushing you beyond your limits. I do a lot of riding by myself on side roads, back roads, parking lots, just all kinds of things. And it helps me immensely as far as like being able to concentrate and learn the bike a lot better. When you're out riding with a group of guys, oftentimes, you know, the most common thing that they'll like to do is kind of, you know, show off a little bit. And they'll end up speeding all over the place, taking corners too fast, or just basically riding like jerks. And you're the new guy, so you're trying to fit in with everybody else, so you're trying to keep up with them. And that's pretty much like one of the most dangerous things you can do when you first start riding a motorcycle or even 
even if you've been doing this for a little while, just go out there with a bunch of cocky people that are just doing nothing but trying to show off. Uh, you know, it's just going to get you into trouble. So ride your own ride. You know, if you do go out on a group ride and they start riding like a bunch of jerks, you know, just hang back or even call it off. Myself personally, I would never go out and ride with somebody who's trying to do a bunch of showboating and, you know, ripping all over the place trying to act cool because, you know, I don't, I don't think that's cool at all. Hell, all I want to do when I'm out riding is just kind of enjoy the scenery and feel the breeze and enjoy the bike itself and make it back home to my wife and kids. The last thing I want to mention as far as gaining confidence on your motorcycle, and this one's really simple, do the speed limit. Being on a motorcycle is extremely easy to speed. Trust me, and you're going to find out pretty quick. Hey puppy. You're going to find out pretty quick that it's easy to go over the speed limit. I mean, you could do it without even thinking about it most of the time, but if you just pay attention to what speed you're doing and just do the speed limit, you're going to learn pretty quick that your reaction time doing 35 miles an hour versus doing 60 miles an hour is a heck of a lot better. Uh, basically, just take your time with everything. The confidence to do things like riding on the highway or in rush hour traffic or even you know, going a little over the speed limit so you can kind of get that kick in the ass, you know, the thrill of the ride and everything. All that stuff will come in time. Just don't rush it. Do everything you can. Just kind of hang out and, you know, hang out on the side roads, hang out in parking lots and do things like that and, and just mess around with your bike. Get to know your bike, get to know your streets. Take everything nice and slow. It's like learning anything, you know, uh, when you like say learn to play an instrument or something like that. Do you think you're just going to jump right in there and be really good at it? No, it takes time. So you got to start nice and slow. And that's kind of the key to becoming good at anything is just you start small and you work your way up to being good. You know, speed itself is a byproduct of skill. And uh, if you want to be good and you want to be good and fast, you want to have good fast reaction on your motorcycle and you want to be able to take those turns a little bit quicker than you should be doing because we all do it. That's part of the fun of riding a motorcycle is you can really get out there and feel the road when you're on it and stuff but if you really want to be good and good and fast just start really slow. Now I myself am not the most confident motorcycle rider. I you know don't ever think I'll ever be good enough to be a you know outride anybody on the street. I'm just a moderate you know. I'm just your, your average rider. All I want to do is just kind of go out and enjoy the ride. I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere when I'm riding. You know, I don't go out seeking streets and side roads and things like that that I can do a lot of speeding on. It's just not, you know, it's not what I got into riding motorcycles for. I get into riding motorcycles to do stuff like this. You know, just kind of come out and hang out and then go find little views like this where I can just kind of stop on the side of the road and enjoy it. Anyways, everybody, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and hit that bell notification thingy, Bob. And uh, we'll see you on next week's video. Everybody ride safe and have a good day.